Hi, this is Andy from Orbit Media. There are a lot of use cases for AI in marketing. Some people use it to research, make recommendations, do brainstorming. Others use it to write, create outlines and briefs and drafts. And you can also use it to review, do audits, look at something you've made, make recommendations. So research, write, review. I'm gonna make the case in this video that that third one is the best one because uh, you can make audit prompts that will look at anything in your marketing and then make recommendations and give you ideas as the strategist for what might work well. This video shows how to make audit prompts to get better results from everything in your marketing. Let's jump in. One of the cool things about AI is that it can give us a perspective that we didn't have, that it extends our skills. We all have blind spots as marketers. There's lots of stuff that I'm not an expert at. I don't really know much about. I haven't really done. So AI can help us be better at those things where we don't have as high a skill level uh, by looking at something and then reviewing and make recommendations on it. Example, I've never done paid marketing at all. I know nothing about it. I've never bought an ad, right? Paid social, paid search, PPC, not my thing. But if I had to do an ad, if I was making an ad, I could use AI to give me recommendations on that and audit the thing that I made. That will be my example. I'm gonna have AI audit this fake LinkedIn ad that I made promoting a webinar for B2B lead generation strategies. Here it is. Okay, that's what we got. <laughs> I don't know much about it. I'm just gonna get some input. I've got a perspective, I could make a guess, uh, but that's the cool thing. AI can actually review things where you have no experience at all, and it can review anything. You might have publicly facing marketing assets, such as articles and posts, social ads, case studies, email copy, website pages, landing pages, anything, right? Or even internal strategic marketing assets, things like marketing plans and brand guidelines and messaging frameworks and your content calendar, your positioning statement, customer journey maps. It can actually review any of these things and give you a perspective, but the key is to give it a good prompt. The best audit prompts include three elements. First, the target persona or the ideal client profile. Teach it about who you're talking to and it will do a much better job of making recommendations. The second, of course, you give it the asset itself. Right, probably uploading it if it's an image or you're copying and pasting it if it's text. And third, a little set of best practices or success criteria for that type of asset. Right, Do some research, look around, see what other people are saying, talk to an expert. Okay, when we put these things together into an audit prompt, the AI may actually be able to give us some very useful insights and recommendations, perspectives we didn't have. Okay, so let's do it. I'm going to I make a fake LinkedIn ad. I'm going to have uh, AI audit it for me by giving it an audit prompt. Here's the ad. Now, my prompt could be very simple. I could just say, suggest five ways that this ad could be better. That's a low effort prompt. That's pretty, that's lazy use of AI. I'm not trying very hard, right? This is 10 seconds of effort and it comes back off target. I can tell immediately, that's not right. I'm targeting marketers, that's my buyer, right? And it's, it's talking about sales. Classic, right? This is what happens when you give AI very little to go on if you don't tell it about your target audience, right? Some good ideas, but mostly it's pretty generic. I don't want it to, I don't want something generic, right? We joke that AI might as well stand for average information. It ingested the internet and now it's giving you back the summarization of what it found, the average of the information on the internet. Better example, I give AI the asset and I give it my persona. I give it a detailed prompt uh, that has an idea of what I'm looking for and the best practices for that thing. For example, you're a paid social media strategist skilled at crafting ads that combine click that drive clicks and conversions, right? Classic prompt, give it role, give it skills. Then I'm going to give it best practices about messaging, about headlines, about visuals, the CTA, urgency, evidence. Now, I don't have to be an expert to give it that much information, right? This is just information I can find very quickly, just looking around for best practices, filtering through those suggestions to see what's relevant for me and my audience. And then finally, what I want back, right? I'm giving you a LinkedIn ad and a target persona. Rate the extent to which the ad does or does not align with best practices above. Recommend changes that would make this ad more effective. Let's see what we get. It comes back. Uh, there's the original copy, right? So, uh, struggling to drive qualified B2B leads. That's the ad that I wrote. Here's the recommend. Uh, here's my persona's needs. They're worried about low, low conversion rates. It knows that I'm talking to digital marketers. 
And then here we go with the recommendation. Uh, join us for actionable insights tailored to boost your lead conversion rates and demonstrate clear ROI. That actually aligns very well with the persona that I gave it because I know from experience, I've had a thousand conversations with my target audience, right? That they're concerned about not just driving ROI, but showing ROI. Uh, and, and the main way that we help them do that is by improving conversion rates, right? We do web development, website optimization. You get the idea. Now it's targeted, right? I told it the, the, the persona, I gave it criteria. Keep going down, you get some other recommendations. The original copy said B2B lead gen tips, right? That was the headline. The suggested copy was proven B2B strategies, right, to boost lead generation or lead conversion. Optimize your, B, your B2B lead gen uh, for maximum ROI. I agree. That's better. It's improved on what I suggested. It, it took the thing that I made. I said what I, uh, I told it about my audience. I told it what success looked like. You know, I gave it a general sketch of that, and it came back with some good improvements, right? The difference is in the quality of the prompt. And that's what this is all about. It's about writing good audit prompts. Let's go back. There were three elements that we included in this prompt, right? The first is our persona or the ideal client profile. The second is the marketing asset. The third is best practices. Let's unpack that a little bit. The ICP or the persona. Here are three ways to give AI your persona. First, you can use a persona prompt. Second, you can upload a PDF file of your ideal client profile or your persona. Third, you can create a custom GPT. ChatGPT users can create a custom GPT. Very simple, not that fancy. It's a synthetic member of your audience, useful in all kinds of ways. I'm gonna share a persona prompt. Here it is on screen. There's a link in the description below. We've got a whole article about how to use AI powered personas. Just replace, fill in the blanks here and you'll have a nice persona. That's a good start. It won't be perfect. Make sure you correct it before you start using it. The second element is the asset. It might just be a text type asset. Copy and paste it in, good enough. If it's like a screenshot, like I, would, like I did a minute ago with that fake uh, LinkedIn ad, just take a screenshot, you can upload that file. If it's more like an internal document, like a strategic asset, uh, you might have a file, like a, it's like a sales deck. Great thing to audit with an, with a, with an ICP and a prompt. Uh, give that uploaded file to the AI. Now, if you're squeamish about uploading files to AI and you're worried about long-term memory and ChatGPT and is it going to give other people insights into your company, in my experience, that's not even possible. But if you're worried about it, just anonymize it all first, right? Cut out all of the information about your actual specific company, change it to Acme Co. or something else, and then upload the file. Uh, these are things that it can give you a great perspective on. You might find in minutes that you've missed that you uh, missed something. Best practices is the third part of the prompt. Where do you get best practices? Now. I could still just do the lazy prompt, but I actually want to learn a little bit in this process. I'm not trying to abdicate my job. I do want to get a bit smarter here and learn about the thing. So take a few minutes and go read some blogs. Go watch some videos. Go reach out to a friendly expert. Ask for some, in for some input. Or you can, of course, yet prompt the AI to give you a short list of best practices for the asset. That will at least give you the chance to review it and add to it or change it or figure out like how much of that is relevant to you and add some value here by making a prompt that's gonna audit this in a way that is specific to your brand and your audience. Very simple prompt for asking the AI for best practices. Create a list of best practices for high performing whatever type of asset. Put them in a brief bullet list that I can use in a subsequent prompt. It will help you. These elements combine, you've got your Persona, you've got your marketing asset, you've got your best practices, give those to the AI, the AI makes a bunch of recommendations, then use your brain to filter through as an experienced strategic thinking human, which of these recommendations are useful and on point, which are useless and irrelevant or inaccurate, and then go improve the asset. That's the job, that's the point, right? Prompts don't improve your marketing, only actions do. So the idea here is that we, we get actionable insights and that we can go take that action. After you get some input, I think it's useful to keep the conversation going and continue to ask it more questions. Uh, for example, hey, make additional recommendations based on best practices that I didn't provide, right? Continue, give me more. I want, see, uh, give me 10 more. Next, align each of your recommendations with a marketing outcome or a specific marketing metric. What results could I expect if I make these changes? Now you can fine tune and make sure that you're working on the things that have the outcome you're looking for. Or make variants based on the provided asset. Make one that aligns with best practices and one that's unexpected. Very 
creative, something different, deviate, make something weird, deviate from the best practices. And then finally, you can give it another asset and say, here's a different one. Compare these two. Create a color-coded matrix, a heat map that scores each against the best practices, that scores them against their alignment with my persona's needs, right? I actually went ahead and did that. Uh, I created a second fake LinkedIn ad based on its recommendations. Uh, there it is on the right. We, you can, you've got a perspective. Anyone can look at this and, and, and think about what they think, right? What, if, if this works for you. But let's give that to the AI and ask, right? Let's actually score it. I gave it the revised asset. Here's the comparison prompt. Here's a second marketing asset for comparison. Create a color-coded heat map, right? Alignment with the persona. It comes back actually pretty interesting. Uh, of course, it likes the one that it, based on its own recommendations. Uh, some of this I like, some of this I don't. But it's a, it's a way to visualize the recommendations after you start taking an action and kind of score things against each other. Uh, and if you look closely and ask it for more details, and, and, and you, you may find that some of these things are actually uh, on point. There's quite a few here that I don't really care about, not relevant, uh, in my, from my point of view, not that useful. But there's a few that I liked a lot, right? Like the recommendations about the headline. It's clear and it's more specific and in the target audience and credibility, right? Alignment with the persona. Uh, these things actually uh, make good sense to me. In the end, yes, we all have skills gap. AI can help us fill those skills gap. And if you thought that this method was a bit time consuming and that you could write just one single prompt and kind of fling an asset at ChatGPT and see what it says about it, that might work. And yes, you might save 10, 15 minutes, but why are we trying to save 10 or 15 minutes? Our job is performance. It's not efficiency. Yeah, you need to be efficient. I don't want to waste time, but I'm trying to make these outperformers because in any part of your marketing, right, the outperformer is going to get 10x the results of the second best or third best, right? That's true of LinkedIn videos, of web pages, of influencer collaborations, of topics, of formats, of marketing channels, right? This is a, a piece we did. I'll share the link down in the description as well, uh, where we mapped all kinds of different channels and formats and all kinds of performance across the marketing funnel. With this so-called Zipfian distribution, where literally number two gets half the results of number one, and number three gets a third of the results of number one, and how this seems to be like a common trait in marketing. It happens all the time. My recommendation, stop using AI to make things. You already have a lot of things. Instead, use AI to make things better. Because the job is to create even a small number of these 10x performers. That's going to make a much bigger impact on business outcomes for your brand than using AI to pump out a whole bunch of medium quality stuff that's way over on the right of that chart. Not impressed. Audit prompts. Very, very powerful. Useful for almost any marketing asset. And how do you do it? Spend some time making a good prompt then give it criteria for success and give it information about your audience. Super fun, very useful. We all have skills gaps. AI can help fill them. Hope this was useful. If you meet anybody who is just using AI to create you know, piles of stuff that feels and sounds the same, share the video. They might find this useful. It's a different perspective. Uh, so, and try audit prompts in your own marketing. I think you'll find them useful. Hope this was helpful. Feel free to pass it along. Again, Andy from Orbit Media, thanks for watching. We'll keep making these. Bye-bye.